Hey guys, welcome to part two of how to make He-Man tutorial series. Hopefully you guys have watched part one, how to make He-Man's paint tools. If not, please uh, check out that video before you watch this one, as it'll show you how to make the different paint tools for He-Man that will be used on this video. With that said, the description field below contains the face and body morphing formula. So if you guys would like to pause the video at this point and morph it and then follow along, or you could just watch. Anyways, thank you for watching. All right, here we have He-Man pre-morphed. And as you can kind of tell, I'm using Triple H's body style. All right. Let's go ahead and start with skin tone, texture and color, and it is 2 of 12. And the skin tone won't really matter that much. As you can see, the age is zero. He-Man doesn't age. And the height is 6'5". You can make him a lot taller if you'd like. But 6'5", uh, 6'6", six, six is probably what I make my my heroes to be. Alright, and the body size is 12 of 12. Like I said, the Triple H body style. Alright. Now I know what you're saying. He doesn't look like He-Man right now. Well, he will pretty soon. Now on the eyes, in the cartoon, since that's what version we're trying to make of He-Man, he has, let's say, dark brown eyes to black eyes because it is the cartoon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go ahead and go to the brown and just make it as dark as I can. Or, you know, you can choose to have blue eyes. And, you know, it's totally up to you. Here you go. I'm just darkening it up. 138229. 1382. Actually, 33. 1382, 33. All right. Now we go down to eyebrows. And right now it has one of 34. That we want to go to 34 or 34, which is no eyebrows. That's what we need. Because if you remember on the paint tool, we created eyebrows for him. All right. I'm going to go ahead and go to body art on the head section. We go to the square design. There we go, 111 of 144. If you watch my previous videos, you know that that's the one that I used to to put on on uh, to make designs with. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stretch it all out, the highest and widest you can. And you want to try to tuck it in underneath the chin as much as you can. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and make the skin tone. Now remember, we start off on the orange. And come down. And then try to go to toward the red. As you can tell, He-Man actually has like a a uh, suntan. It's pretty. He's pretty tan. So okay, uh, here's the skin tone numbers: 19, 105, 185, and zero. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get another design. And I know it looks kind of dark on on your screen. 
but uh, in game it actually looks pretty good. So again, we got the 111 to 144 square design, and we're going to go ahead and stretch it out as much as we can. I apologize for the length of this video, but if I combine both uh, paint tools and face and body morph, um, it would have been way over an hour. And uh, so I decided to make two videos. And this one as it is, it's, it's about close to an hour. All right. Again, try to match it up as best you can. Try not to leave any blank spots. And we're going back into the design again. We're going to add another square. I know this is boring, guys, but bear with me. All right, there we go. Just stretch it out again. Exactly as you did on the other side. All right, that looks about right. Don't worry about that back piece. We'll go ahead and cover up later. And remember, just keep hitting that same skin tone. All you got to do is just, since you already have it in history, just keep picking it. That way you don't have to keep moving the uh, the cursor to get the color right again. And then we add again. Another square design. I wish that 2K could actually improve this where it's one big square and you can fill up, you know, the whole head instead of, you know, taking up all these... Uh, all these uh, design logo, you know, over and over layers. It's one big logo, and we're able to just put it all over. All right. All right, that we are covering it. Make sure you get far enough into the neck, down toward the neck, so there's no white seam. All right, when we go up on the neck from the torso... And again, I think this is probably where most of the video is, as far as uh, the time. I think maybe next time I'll go ahead and speed this part up. Let me know what you guys think. If you like this, you know, one-on-one -on -one type uh, slow pace, let me know. Or if you want me to speed it up, let me know also. I'm trying to make it as fast as I can. All right. Do it again. Square paint tool. I mean, sorry, design. All right. This one I'm just going to try to put up on top. Now I'm going to turn it sideways using the RB button. I'm going to try to get that top of that top of, top of his head there. Yeah, it looks good. Looks like it's all covered up from the front. One more for the head. And I could have just turned the whole body a certain color, but you can't replicate um, the, you know, the suntan that he has in the national cartoon. So, you know, you have to do it this way. And honestly, if you just want the actual skin tone, you can just skip this, these steps of putting, you know, on the head and body and uh, make your own without this. 
Um, I find that it actually gives it that cartoon, you know, look with the skin tone. No, it looks kind of weird right now, but trust me, it'll it'll look it'll look just like the cartoon. All right. And I think we're finished with the head here. I'm just checking it, make sure that there's no uh, there's no spots that are showing that I might have missed. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the same designs on the body. And again, you're gonna try to tuck it into uh, the neck area there, so it covers up every little bit that you can, so there's no skin showing. Alright, that looks like it's under there. I think it is. Yeah. Alright. And once again, skin tone. Now, if you notice, on the body, it's a lot lighter than the head. And that's because of the shadow on the head for some reason. And, I mean, it's the same exact color. It's 19, 105, 185, and 0. But for some reason, it, it always it's always lighter on the chest and arms area. All right, let me go again, putting it all together again. All right, I'm going to turn this one sideways and put it right up against the neck area and over the shoulder area so that when we put the design from the back, there's no seam. You can't see the actual skin. All right, and again. Square design. And uh, I just wanted to see what what other characters you want me to make. I know um, somebody suggested uh, Webster from the He-Man series. Um, I was thinking of making Beastman, possibly Trapjaw. Let's see what you guys think. What other uh, He-Man characters would you like to see? And it could be from the current series, uh, the 2000 series, or, or from the uh, 80 series, He-Man. Alright, there's another one, stretching it out. It's the most fun you'll ever have, right? Putting the same design, same color over and over on the body. All right. Now, one other thing that I need definitely need to do before I bring this uh, design any further down is change the, the underwear. The underwear cannot be, um, cannot be that blue. It has to be that double color one that I always use because like I said it always fills in that midsection area it's like no man's land there's no a design can't go in there so you'll always see that little seam but for some reason with this underwear which is 13 of 23 and I use the center one the middle one the short one it actually works for some reason it covers up that that midsection area where everything is Everything that uh, any design that you try to put in will will disappear, and there'll always be that that space where you didn't fill it in. So right here, I'm just trying to make it like a dark brownish color. I'm gonna go ahead and put another uh, underwear over it. It's that uh, cloth slash uh, uh, wool one, animal hide, whatever you want to call it. All right, so that's the brown right there, 11, 14, 82. And we're going to go ahead and accept it. And we're going down to color number two. And we just grab it from history. And voila. Completed underwear color. Sorry about that, guys. This is my dog. All right, 
And another design. Again, how fun. Now, if you guys want, you guys can pause it here and, you know, pause it, do all this, and then forward wind it from this point. I know it's pretty boring. Same thing over and over again. All right. Now I'm placing it down in that area there, right on top of the underwear. And I'm going to go ahead and change it to the actual skin color. Now for the back area, pretty much the same thing. Square design up on the back. Yeah, make sure you guys check out my other videos of how to make Space Ghosts, how to make Evil Lynn. I'll be making quite a few of them on the different characters that you guys are suggesting. And I appreciate all the suggestions. Um, it's just I have to get to every single one. And so please be patient as it takes me some time to, uh, to actually make them, record it, um, edit the, the video. And uh, and put them up on uh, YouTube for you guys. So just please be patient. I try to get to everybody's uh, suggestions. You guys have had some good ones. All right. I think one more design on the back should do it. Let's see. All right. I'm just trying to cover up the other side because it looks like on the on the shoulder area it's kind of uh I have some skin showing through it. All right. Never mind. I'm going to go ahead and put this on the bottom. I try my best not to not to waste any layers because as you know there's only 64 layers on 360 I believe on PS PS4 PS3 actually I'm sorry it's uh 60 no not 62 it's I think it's in the 50s if if I'm I'm correct if you got any of you guys know I think it's in the 50s or or low 60s um so I know it's less than 360 so you really have to watch the the lo uh, logo designs, uh, layers, and you know, because it does creep up there, and pretty soon you can't put any more layers on. You reach lim limit on them. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, there is the back completed. Um, next, we'll move on to the arms, and I always pick both arms so we can go ahead and uh, do it a lot faster. Okay, here I just seen that uh, I guess there's something showing, so I'm not too happy with it. So I'll go ahead and just um, place it under that. Yeah, it's up on top, on that neck area, shoulder area. All right. All right, now we're going for the arms. So we pick both arms. And again, the square, 111, 144. Now, 
Now I like to stretch them out as tall and as wide and then use the RB button to kind of turn them. But when you do this, you got to make sure that you line up the paint tool correctly. As you can see, it kind of splits and it looks kind of crooked. And you want to put them up far enough up on the shoulders so that it actually fills in that little uh, gap between the shoulder and the chest area. All right, and there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and put another design just to fill it in again and make them as large, as hot, tall, and as wide as you can to design. And then hit the RB button, turn them around. Go a little bit lower. And try to match it up so you don't leave any um, actual skin showing. And uh, that looks about right. There we go. You can see the big difference between his hands and his arms. So we're going to go ahead and cover those up also. Now, hey guys, if you guys use my cause, um, I've seen a lot on community creations. A lot of people use my cause um, for their own videos and that that's cool. I don't mind. Um, just every once in a while, send me a shout out and, um, you know, put, you know, say that I created it or whatnot, and I'll definitely link it to one of my videos. And, uh, so that way you guys get more traffic to your, uh, to your videos and to your channel. I don't mind if you guys use them. I've been asked also to do a cause for colleagues. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to the legs, both legs, same, same thing, square. Yeah, I've been asked to do a cause for colleagues, but, you know, I just really don't have time. Uh, you know, I need to concentrate on my stuff most of the time. And uh, I know I get like maybe four or five uh, requests a week, you know, to, to make calls for people or, you know, because they're in leagues or whatnot. Um, but yeah, I don't really have time to make, you know, a hundred calls for a league. So I apologize if you guys have asked me for that and, uh, I'm sorry. I just can't, uh, can't do that this time. All right. So you see, and I just turned it, turned the color. Now, as you, you'll be able to see, there is a spot right underneath his, uh, for lack of a better term, his groin area that the paint tool will not go into and that's okay as you can see the paint tool is actually going up on the actual underwear that's okay also because watch what happens once you leave it see it goes right underneath the actual underwear so it's not on top all right and again square design I know folks Bear with me. We're almost there. Also, if you guys send me friend requests on uh, on Xbox Live, like I said, I don't accept um, requests, friend requests right away. You know, I would have to play the game with you and see how see how you are. Um, as far as if you're a cool person, and whatnot. Um, because I get over, I, I would say about 15 to 20 friend requests every other day and, uh, people I don't really know. And if you guys are subscribers from YouTube, maybe you can hit me up and say you're coming from YouTube, you've seen my videos and, um, I'll invite you to one of the matches. And if you're a cool person and <clears throat> you play the game right, Hey, I'll, I'll friend you. All right. You don't need to put the whole um, paint tool all the way down to the feet because, once again, He-Man wears boots, so, and you know, just a little bit of overkill. All right. Now, 
Now we're going to go to Marks and Scars. And we're going to go ahead and find um, the chin, 16 of 24. And we're going to go ahead and use that uh, color that we were using on the design to go ahead and put it on it. You see it just filled it in. It's the same color, 19105 uh, 0. I mean, 19105 0, sorry. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put some eye makeup. Now, a lot of people say, well, why do you put makeup on, on male cause? Well, in this case, when you put designs over, like the face like we did, it tends to uh, to kind of uh, not give the, the eyes um, some depth. So when you put in black, it'll give it that type of depth to make it a more realistic look. And it's not quite black. I don't like it to be, you know, like black, black, jet black. I like it to be a little bit lighter. So it's 17. And I didn't see the rest of it. But anyways, you guys seen it. It's a light, like a light, uh, light black. It's not, not too dark. All right. We're going to go ahead and go to the custom logos. And we're going to find our uh, eyebrows. And we're going to stretch them out wide, and then we're going to go up on them, stretch them up, all right, and it's not too far from his eyes, so don't put them too high up. The best way to do this is to be either looking at at He-Man's picture, you know, from Google, from the cartoon series, or if you have an action figure, that's that's cool. Um, I don't know if I I think I've told you guys before in videos uh, that you just Google uh, He-Man um, uh, design or He-Man uh, face, or you can go ahead and put in He-Man uh, character sheets. And you'll find that, you know, they'll give you, like, He-Man from uh, different perspectives. You know, the body perspective, the head perspective. If any character has ever been in a in a uh, cartoon series or a video game, they'll have character model sheets. And here I just went ahead and, and put up that, uh, put in the design, which is like a, like a triangle with no top. And I'm just trying to make it a little darker on top of the eye. Because again, we don't have any any eyelashes. So, alright. And black is fine. And we're going to go ahead and add the same design. Which is 135 and 144. And again, it's going to go on the opposite eye. And again, what this does, it adds depth to the actual eyes. So it doesn't look so plain. And it takes some getting used to placing it where you need to place it and getting it to look like that. So be patient and... Uh, You'll get there and you'll be able to do it. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and add 135, 144 again, design. And this time I'm going to put it right in the chin area to make it just a little bit darker. So it's easier for the actual... Uh, game engine to pick it up because as it is if I leave it like that it's not going to really show up 
don't know why, but it doesn't really show up. So the purpose here is just to make a little, make it darker, the indentation, not too dark. You don't want it too wide. All right. Okay, that looks wide enough. Pretty sure I'm happy with that. I'm just going to go ahead and lighten it up. So what I'm doing here is just changing the transparency to about 86. Uh, it's too too light. You can't see it. So we got to back up. Um, okay, 85 is pretty good. So the transparency is 85. It, the color is 0, 20, 255. And the transparency is... 85 all right now I'm purposely not putting his hair right now um, because I need to concentrate on the actual um, paint tools on on his chest so that's what I'm doing right now and with the hair there you can't really see and you can't really match this logo that we're about to put on there paint tool that we're about to put on so it's better to to leave the hair to the very last so you can line up the vest up here. As you can see, even with the V shape, it tends to go toward the neck. But not as bad as if you had a straight paint tool that, you know, for the shoulders, shoulder area there, the straps would be straight. It would just curve right into the neck. And the actual uh, Maltese cross or He-Man's cross is actually pretty high up on the chest. So I'm just trying to stretch it out, trying to make it as wide as I can without distorting the paint tool too much. Because ultimately what we don't want is that square right on his chest where the Mal Maltese cross goes to be too wide. That throws off the whole paint tool. Alright, that looks pretty good. So now I want to go back in. And we're going to grab the bottom piece that we did. And as you can see, it's already flipped over. All we got to do is try to match it up. Now, don't worry about those straps going nowhere because we're going to go ahead and put the belt paint tool. So it's going to cover that up. Don't worry about it. Now, what I'm doing here is trying to match it up so that we have a smaller square area where I'm going to go ahead and put the cross. So that's what I'm doing here, just trying to line it up. And if you remember from the last one, we didn't have the actual uh, the black line on top. And that's because if you did have the black line, you could see a black line right in the center. So it's not. Uh, so it actually works out when you do it this way. All right. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put the Maltese cross or He-Man's cross on it. I keep saying that over and over again, right, guys? But He-Man's cross. Okay, let's just say it that way. All right. So as you can see, the cross re looks really, really good. And what I'm trying to do here is just, you know, space it out correctly. All right, that looks about right. Now the cross is always going to be light. Same thing with the little squares on his armor. It's going to be light red. I don't, it tends to be more orange 
or pinkish color, in my opinion. 2K has to definitely fix the color so we can actually make a dark, like, like rich uh, crimson red or burgundy if we wanted to. All right. Like I said, don't worry about the straps on the bottom going nowhere. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and place the strap on the back. So we're going to use the one that we used on the bottom in the front. Now you can go ahead and use that one, the one with the the one with the red squares, but you now it's all up to you. But I I'm going to go ahead and use these. So in this case, all I have to do is just rotate the paint tool and match it up with the other one in the front. Now it's never going to be perfect just because of the geometry. There's more like muscles on his back. So try to match it up as best you can. And here's what I was saying about the hair. Don't put the hair right away because you won't be able to do what I'm doing right now which is looking at the shoulders and trying to match up the front paint tool with the back paint tool because you'll have the hair there. So remember, always put the hair at the end. Whenever you're working on the top torso, putting paint tools that will connect from the, on the shoulders. It just makes your, uh, your job a lot easier. All right. I apologize for taking so long, but I'm looking at just making sure that the the back and the front line up. Uh, that looks about right. As good as, as good as it's gonna get, I guess. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and let that save. I'll go back into the back. Grab that same paint tool and use it for the bottom like we did in the front. All right. So we're going to try to do the same type of uh, work that we did on, on the front. It's going to try to match up. This one, it doesn't really matter how big the square is on his back. I mean, on the action figure, he carries a sword there. And I've actually made He-Man a couple of times with the sword paint tool. But, you know, it doesn't stick out from the from his back like it would in the, in the cartoon series or in, on the action figure. So it's, you know, it's not worth it. Maybe 2K can actually put a sword, you know, a ninja type sword and maybe like a barbarian, you know, uh, crusader type sword that you can carry on your back. That'd be cool to to put on there. I mean, we already have guns and uh, what a uh, gun in a holster, and then what bullets for the chest. So, all right, what I'm doing here is I'm taking the square design, and I'm gonna make a kind of clasp on the bas on the back. Sorry, where everything hooks up. So, like if He Man would take off his uh, his armor, you know, there would be a a clasp in the back so you're able to unhook it and and take off the the armor you don't have to do this but i just kind of like how it how it looks like that it looks like you know he's able to take off the armor and again i'm using the square design again uh, just to make a line now, if you wanted to you can make a paint tool for this i mean it's totally up to you I just find it that for little lines like this, it's no big deal. Just go ahead and use the designs to make. All right. Another one. Again, you don't have to do this. So if you want, you can skip right over this if you don't want to and uh, forward the video.
Now you can also use this uh, this tutorial to make uh, King Gray King Gray Skull. You know, which is uh, what He Man's uh, grandfather, I believe. It's just he has a different he has different hair, and he would have a cape on. And actually, the logo is a lot different. I think uh, um, when they were making, I guess, the new adventure, well, not the new adventures of He-Man. That's another He-Man uh, series. But uh, when they were making in 2000s, when they were making the new He-Man series, uh, I guess maybe they ran to people protesting the Maltese Cross. Um, a lot of people know it as the um, Iron Cross. Which you know, and if you know history, you know who, what, what um, faction used that. So a lot of people, uh, I guess, were, were kind of mad that that they were showing this the cross. So uh, what they did, I guess, the show's producers, they went ahead and made their own type He-Man uh, symbol. Which I think originally, the original He-Man was supposed to have some type of H or something on his chest. But I guess they decided to go with that. Anyways, a little He-Man history for you. Here is uh, the belt that we made. Now, his actual belt uh, kind of loops down into his uh, underwear area. But um, I've done that one year and it's just, it's not even worth it. What you can't really tell... Um, you know, the difference between the straight belt and one that loops a little bit under. You would have to cut the paint tool in half and make the uh, the bottom piece loop down. And it's just really hard to, to get them to connect. Trust me, it's a lot more headache and heartache than, than, um, than it's worth. So here I am just stretching out another paint tool to complete the belt from the back. And this is where like it kind of gets interesting because it never matches up right. Even though it's the same paint tool, it's just the back is different. So it's always thinner in the back. Here I'm just trying to line it up. Sorry about the spinning. I'm going to make He-Man uh, dizzy. And then you could also see as I'm right on top of the neck area, you could see the paint tool as I'm pushing down on it. And we don't really want that. You see it on the top of the neck there. All right. Just got to keep, you know, making it smaller so it's not all the way up there. All right. Yeah, it looks about, yeah, it looks about right. As good as it's going to get, I guess. And there I am just adjusting it because I I just noticed that it was uh, peeking out on his neck there. So here here we have it, and it's he's almost complete. There's quite a few little touches that we have to do, but he's almost finished. So bear with me a little bit more. I know this this video is taking a lot longer than than most videos that I've made. All right, we're going to go on both arms, and we're going to go ahead and put the design on it, which is the actual belt. And the belt, uh, again, it serves as the arm gauntlets, and you'll see in a few seconds um, what it looks like. All right. All right, here we go. And don't make them too big because it won't... Uh, won't look right the gauntlets are kind of uh small on the actual show you know on the on the cartoon series all right uh, okay just adjust them a little bit further so you see you can't really tell you know if that we use that as the belt and this as uh arm gauntlets so that saves a lot of uh, paint tool layers by reusing the 
the paint tool when possible of course you have you know if you want to draw them individually with different then that's fine but uh you know it just saves you some time all right now i'm going to go ahead and add uh 19 of 20 and it's the actual uh, uh i guess wool um cloth or linen cloth whatever you want to call it and it just gives it that furry look all right i'm going to go ahead and turn it brown which is the original brown that we used on the first uh, underwear. All right. And as you can see, it gives it that edge too. So it kind of looks like it's it's uh, all made out of fur. All right. There it is. That looks pretty good. All right, we're gonna go ahead and save that accept it and it actually looks pretty good right now now I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, boots and this is a personal choice I mean I've put all these different boots in the past and they've always you know it they're not they don't really match anything that you put on there won't really match but um, I like this uh, Captain America type boots um, you know, again, we're going to turn them brown. And of course, that's up to you. If you want to use a different type of boot, that's fine. It's, you know, it's your call ultimately. And, uh, you know, I just think these boots, boots look okay. They're not perfect, but they're okay. All right. I went ahead and accepted them. I just used the same brown that I used on the underwear. And, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just add some socks. And the reason I'm doing this is to kind of give it uh, more height on the boots. And it's 5 of 13. And again, the color is going to be the same color, brown. And just click on it. And it's important that you go ahead and get both uh, first and second color because, as you can see, it's white on the sides. So you have to put it on there. It, so you have to click on the second color and make it brown also. All right. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead and accept it. Now I'm going to accept it. I'm going to go to the length. Click on that. And then right now it's at 100. So I'm going to bring it down uh, to around the 40s. So it brings it down right. Just underneath the knee and a little bit peeking out of the, the actual boot. All right. So here uh, it takes a little time for it to, uh, to get up there. Come on. Sorry about the loading. All right. Every time I move it, it you know, it doesn't, it resets, so I apologize for that. All right, I, well, it might be a little too high. No, it's not that quite that high. But uh, it, it does, it does give it a different look when you, when you make it a little bit, uh, when you put the actual um, socks in it. All right. Okay. Well, that's 62. So I guess I guess I'm happy with it. See, from far away, it kind of gives it that full look, like it's all the way up on his uh, calf. All right. Apologize if you guys are hearing any noise, but it's uh, my neighbors. So, sorry about that. I'm trying to talk over him as much as I can, but uh, you'll probably hear a little bit of it, and I apologize for that. All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and go into the Diva hair, and we're going to pick 8 of 21. And I know what you're saying. What, Diva? Really? For He-Man? Yeah. Well, that's the only 
It's the only um, actual hair that that fits fits the description there. All right, and it's going to be like an orange yellow, orange yellow color. There, there's a He-Man if he was older. If he was like 80 or something. Now his hair is kind of yellowish orange in the series. So, you know, a lot of people make him blonde blonde and he's not really blonde. It's like an orange orange blonde or whatever you want to you want to say. Uh, hmm. Maybe a little bit toward the orange. Right. Yeah, it looks about. Mm, well, no. Let me. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. So thirty zero two fifty five. Thirty zero two fifty five. The color. We're gonna go ahead and accept it. Now we're gonna go to length. And length is uh, minus one hundred. I mean, you can make it longer, but it's just not going to look, you know, like it should. So there you have it, folks. Um, there's your very own He-Man. Um, hopefully you guys have liked this video. And if you want me to do more, please let me know. And if you guys want me to make Skeletor, please let me know. I'll definitely make Skeletor for you guys to fight He-Man here. Alright. And we're getting to the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Also, please watch part one. How to make He-Man's paint tool. If you haven't. And until the next time. Thank you very much.